whenever a female asks you what you do for work, what you do for a living, believe me when I tell you, whatever you tell her, there is a ruthless calculator going off in her head, calculating how much you make, how much you earn, how much salary you bring in, how much income you earn, right? There is a ruthless calculator just going off in her head, trying to figure out, estimate, okay, I should say estimate how much you make, right? How much money you bring in. And it doesn't mean that she's a gold digger or she's trying to like necessarily go after your money or anything like that. A lot of times, it just means she wants to be with somebody who is her equal, somebody that she doesn't have to carry, somebody who has their shit together, right? Because a lot of guys out there, they don't have their shit together. They're not on their path and purpose. They're not on their grind. And a lot of these girls are just filtering. Doesn't necessarily mean they're money hungry. It just means that they want to be with somebody who is their equivalent financially. And I understand that, I get that. Even back when I was broke and I had no money and I had girls ask me that question, who had way better jobs than I did, who basically took care of me during that time for a little while. I've had girlfriends back in the day when I was broke, I was like pretty much staying at their place and they were taking care of me. And then later, once I got on my feet, I took care of them because I felt like it was the right thing to do and I don't like using people like that. So I wanted to kind of pay them back. But even during that time, it was like, they were like, hey, what do you do? And I was like, oh girl, I'm playing sports right now and I'm trying to go pro or I'm trying to do this or I'm trying to build this business. I always had big plans. I remember that. I would always talk about my plans. And to the girl, in her head, the calculation was, was like, this guy is gonna become something. I don't know what, but he's gonna become something. And he's gonna make some kind of money where I won't have to carry him forever. But at the end of the day, whenever a woman asks you, hey, what do you do for a living? What do you do for work, right? Seems really innocent, seems like, you know, just like a harmless question. Um, really, she is evaluating where you are financially, right? She's evaluating what level you're at in life, okay? And whenever girls ask me that these days, rather than say, oh, I'm a pickup artist or I teach guys game or I'm a self-development coach, um, I just tell girls I'm an internet entrepreneur, which is pretty accurate because this isn't the only business that I run now. I'm currently acquiring other websites that are in different niches that have nothing to do with dating or uh, self-development. They're in completely different uh, niches and e-commerce sites that I'm acquiring and putting uh, basically virtual assistants behind to run where I, I don't really deal with the day-to-day. -day. So I'm kind of like a serial entrepreneur, but all my businesses are online. So when girls ask me, what do you do for a living? I just say internet entrepreneur, and that pretty much explains it all, right? pretty much explains it all. And without having to tell the girl, it kind of communicates to her like, hey, this guy must be doing well. So a lot of these girls will just assume I'm doing well. Especially too, because the, the next follow-up question a girl will ask you after, hey, what do you do for a living? Where do you live, right? She'll go, where do you live? Usually, I mean, I'll tell the girl, oh, okay, I was born and raised in San Francisco, but I live in Los Angeles now, or I live in the Hollywood Hills, or I, li you know, I, I will tell her where I live. The calculations will keep going, and she'll be like, okay, internet entrepreneur lives in San Francisco, Hollywood Hills. Okay, I get it, right? For her, she'll be like, okay, he's doing great. He's doing well financially. Now, some girls, we call them gold diggers, will ask you flat out and just be super unapologetic about asking you how much you make. Usually when it comes to gold diggers, like girls who are really just after money, those girls will not only ask you what you do for a living, but they will ask you how much you make per year. I mean, uh, these girls will flat out ask you that. They'll look at your clothes. They'll look at what you're wearing. They'll ask about your car. They'll ask like how much your house is worth. They'll ask you uh, stuff like that to figure out exactly where you are financially. There won't be like much of like this guessing game going on in their heads. They will want to know like pretty much exact figures of how much you're bringing in and how much they can extract from you. I really don't like gold diggers whatsoever. I mean, girls who are like that blatant about it too, who are just really unapologetic and just really are after your money and they don't care about you at all. Yeah, I'm not down with that. I mean, I don't mind people asking what I do for a living because I will ask the girl that too. I want to know like she has her shit together. 
I want to know what she does too, just so I know we're on the same page. I mean, I don't want to be like, hey, I'm an internet entrepreneur and I live like in the best part of town in a nice house. And then she tells me like she's a stripper, you know, and oh, I'm a stripper, I'm an exotic dancer. And I'm living in this studio apartment with roaches. I don't want to date somebody like that. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I, I don't like to judge, but it's not somebody that I see a future with. Right, and I'm not trying to get married or anything here. Even if I'm gonna date somebody casual, I wanna know that, hey, if this continues and we continue to get along, that we're on the same page. Like financially, we have the same goals. Like I wanna know to a certain degree that that chick is financially responsible. I mean, for the most part, a lot of women are financially irresponsible, but you know, there are some some females out there that are pretty good with their money. I mean, they're, maybe they're not at the level of like most guys are, right? Where they're just like hardcore investors or anything like that. And not to say that, you know, women aren't, but I mean, mostly it's guys who are into like investing and finances and, um, and stuff like that. But I mean, a lot of hot women really are into stuff like that. But as long as she can carry herself, I'm good with that, right? And she has a future. You know, she has like a path and purpose of her own and she doesn't depend on mine, my money, my business. She needs to have a life of her own. I can remember even the 19 year old girl that I dated, she was 19 years old, but she had a life of her own. She didn't even have the best job back then. She was working as a, uh, like an administrative assistant or something like that uh, for some law office. Didn't have the best job, but like when we went out, she would, try to pay her share, you know, and a lot of times I had to like purposely like step in, like if I wanted to go to a restaurant at a nice place, I would flip the bill for that just because I knew it was a little above what she was making. So I have a little social empathy, but at the same time, this girl would constantly offer to buy whatever she could and like pay for us whenever she could because she wanted to feel like she could carry her own and she did. She was great. She was really mature. Um, and that's why like whenever I get like these post wall women trying to shame me like, oh, she's just a baby. She's just a baby. She's so immature. I'm like, she's way more mature than you. She's like less than half your age, girl. She's way more mature than, than you are. At the end of the day, fellas, uh, just remember when girls ask you, what do you do for a living? What do you do for work? Just know that she is calculating in her head. She is trying to figure out how much you make and how much you don't make, right? And it doesn't mean she's not going to date you. It just means that she's going to decide how seriously she takes you, right? Based on, you know, how important that is to her. I mean, there are some girls who are doing financially well, yet they have success barriers. I knew one girl who uh, was an accountant, right? I dated a girl who was an accountant at one time she was an accountant and uh, she was doing pretty well financially, but she dated losers. She dated guys who were like, just complete losers, right? And I'm like, why do you date guys like that? It's just that she had success barriers of her own. She had like self-esteem problems. And for her, she felt like losers were the type of guys that she deserved. I mean, she was actually turned off by guys who made good money. I mean, at that time I was had my corporate job, so I was making decent money and that, I feel was a turnoff to her because I was pretty doing pretty well financially and she didn't feel that she deserved that. She felt like she deserved somebody who was like a little bit lower. And then after we broke up, that's who she ended up dating. She dated a guy who uh, was just kind of like an average Joe. And she was happy with that because she didn't feel like she had to live up to anything. So a lot of these girls too, at the same time, they have success barriers. And that girl never, never once asked me what I did for a living. I mean, she just didn't care. So there's kind of like a, a fine line here. There's like a give and take between like gold digger versus a chick who just wants to meet a guy who she doesn't have to carry. A guy who's at her level, like a guy who's at, who's at her social and financial level. And you can't falter for that. I mean, that makes sense. It's fair, you know, especially if she's not trying to take your money. She's not expecting you to pay for everything because if the girl expects you to pay for everything, red, freaking flag, right? See, if she expects you to pay for all the dinners, take her out, pay for everything, pay for the movies, the dinners, the dancing, food, you know, shopping. No, that's a gold digger. Red flag, I'm not down with that. Especially if that person is a grown adult. No, pay for your own shit.
Uh uh, I ain't paying for you. I'm not your, you know, I'm not your daddy. All right, that's ridiculous because you need to know that you're valued too. The girls that I date, I mean, just as much as I take them out, they take me out. There's a fine balance there. It's like 50 50. I mean, obviously, with a 19 year old girl, I'm making a lot more than her, so I'm not gonna make her take me to like Ruth Chris Steakhouse every weekend. She took me good amount of money where she doesn't have to carry you. She doesn't have to carry you, and she shouldn't. I mean, as a man, you should be carrying yourself, right? But at the same time, you shouldn't let these chicks take advantage of you if you are making money, right? Right now, financially, I'm in a good place, but I don't let any of these chicks like take advantage of me. Like, oh, hey, take me to this fancy restaurant and pay for it. I'd be like, no, screw yourself, you know? None of these chicks have ever asked me to do anything like that. And if any of them ever did, I'd literally say that. I'd be like, go screw yourself, right? I'll take you where I want. If you don't like it, you know, don't go out with me. You know, and at the same time, I'm like, I expect to be take, taken out too. I expect to be treated for dinner. I expect to be wined at night. I expect to be treated just as I treat you. When women ask you this question, like, hey, what do you do for a living? What kind of job do you have? What, you know, how long have you been doing that job? How did you get into that? She wants to see if you guys are uh, on the same financial, you know, on the same financial path and on the same financial level. That's really it. It doesn't mean there's anything like negative about that. I mean, she just really wants somebody who's her equal just as you should, right? Because you don't want to have to carry her either. You don't want to date somebody who's like way below you. And I should say too, like I mentioned earlier, that the next question after what do you do for a living is usually going to be, uh, where do you live? If you go, oh, I live in, uh, I live in this neighborhood. She'll be like, oh, is it a house or an apartment? Right? Girls will ask you that too. Is it a house or apartment? If you say, oh, it's a house, she'll be like, oh, do you own it? Is it yours? When did you buy it? You know, she'll ask you questions like that. It doesn't necessarily mean she's a gold digger. It just means that she's curious, like how you got there. And if, again, if you're on the same financial path that she's on, she wants to know that, hey, we're, we're, we can both take care of ourselves and we can both take care of each other if we were to enter a relationship together. Neither of us has to carry the burden of, you know, having to take care of one another. It's like, if we do, it's out of our own free will and pleasure. It's not because that person can't carry their own weight, right? But then, again, you're gonna come across females from time to time. Also, depending where you meet these girls, right? Depending where you meet them, you'll, you'll find more gold diggers in certain cities and in certain places and certain venues than others. So, you just have to be careful, right? You just have to be careful. And what, from what I found, gold diggers are very, very uh, upfront about... Hell back there, actually, I'm heading back there now. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. Also guys, very important, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe. Uh, that way you will get all of my coaching videos fresh as I upload them and you won't have to wait or dig around YouTube for them, right? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, son. Seven Months to Mastery where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens. The same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students are out there cold approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making this happen every single week, no matter what virus is going on in the world, no matter uh, what kind of like police beatings are going on in the world, or any other craziness that is happening in the world, we are still out there making things happen and getting things done and pulling results, son. This is the absolute best way to support my work. And right now, the first month is still only a buck, okay? Still only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. I really don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep this running, but right now, still only a buck. So take advantage of it. This is the absolute best way to support my work. 
and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it only takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video